In this video, I'm going to share with you the highest price products on 10 different print on demand sites so that you know what to put your designs on to get the highest royalties. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I'm on 10 different pod sites. I have a video about that right here. You can see all the 10 sites that I'm on. So I thought it would be cool to show you the highest priced products in each of these pod sites uh, so that you know which ones will give you the most profit per sale. So typically the ones that are the highest will give you the most royalties. So each of the pod sites do it differently. Some pod sites have a base price and you can increase the price to get your royalties there. And other pod sites actually have a price already and you just get a percentage of it. So I'll show you what the differences are, but uh, you'll be surprised, stay till the end. You'll see some of these uh, sell for hundreds of dollars. There's ones that sell for over $800 for one product. So you can get um, you can imagine what kind of royalties you could, would get on those if you can sell one of those. So I'll show you what those are. I'm going to show you the top one for each pod site that I'm in. And I'm going to start with the lowest and uh, end with the highest there. And then at the end, I'll show you a list of different the ones that I'll, I'll show in this video. So you're going to want to stay till the end for this one. Let's get into it. I'll start with the lowest one first. And that's this number one. So the first one I want to share with you is from Merch by Amazon. They have the lowest price, highest ticket item, if that makes sense. So the highest ticket item that they have, they don't have very many products. And you can see uh, this is all of it right here. Other pod size have lots more products, but Merch by Amazon is one of the newer print on demand sites. So uh, they haven't been in it that long and haven't added too many products, but this is their highest ticket priced item, the zip hoodie. And you can see here, the base price on this is $26.81, I believe. If I do $26.81, you can see zero estimated royalties. I usually sell mine at $33.99, um, which is $5.10 royalty. So every time I make a sale on these zip hoodies, I get a $5 profit. I've seen some um, at $34. So you can see $34.99, $5.80. I've even seen it go up to $37 which would be almost an $8 royalty and some like Disney and Marvel, uh, you'll see it priced at 47. So if you're like them, you can make a $15 profit, but I don't know how many people will buy at 47. Let's take a look. I did a search here on Amazon, funny zip hoodie. You can do the same to look and you can see most of them 33, 33. Uh, this one's 36. There it is uh, 47 99 Disney because they're Disney, they can charge more. Uh, $36.99 here and so on. So you can see this one's at $26.99, not making very min much on royalties, but this Disney one is. Um, but those that are doing $33, like I said, making $5. Uh, let's see if anybody, $34 down here, $33, $34, this person's making $6 or more than $5 and so on. So that's how much you can make with print on demand with zip hoodies from Merch by Amazon. I'm gonna say somewhere between five and eight dollars, right? Unless you're Disney. So this is your high price ticket item for Merch by Amazon and that is the zip hoodie. So the next print on demand store I wanna share with you is Design by Humans, designbyhumans.com. They sell t-shirts and lots of different products. They also don't have a ton of products. These are all the products you can see here and they tell you what kind of royalty. So they have a different structure. They don't have a base price and then you can upsell it or add more to it to get a royalty. This one, uh, they actually have the same price on each one. So nobody has a different price on Design by Humans, which is kind of nice. Everybody's on the same level, but you all make $8. The highest price thing here is a frame art print for $8. If you're selling a t-shirt, then you get $3. And if you're selling these things, you get that. So very easy to understand what you're gonna get when you sell on Design by Humans. And just to show you what a frame art print is, I have it here. You can see these are some of the framed art prints, which is really nice. Uh, these can go on your wall and stuff. So the biggest one that you can sell on here, um, and I think, let's just click on here. You can click on it, art print, and go to 26 by 36, and you can see it's $116 and you get an $8 royalty on those. So that is the highest price ticket item on Design by Humans and that is the art print. 
So the next pod site I want to talk about is Teespring. So you can see Teespring right here. They have a lot of products as well. I'll show you what they are here. I'm going to go into Spring Launcher where you choose your product. You can see ton of apparel, posters, flip flop, uh, slides, notebooks, tons of things here. The one that I found that was the highest ticket item or highest priced item at least the highest base price item is down here. It is the yoga mat. Let me see if I can find it. Like I said, they have tons of products. There it is. The yoga mats have a base price of $43.50. And then when you click on this, um, you can add, or I think it says 51 here. You can do, um, you know, if you think you can sell it for $60.99 or $59.99, I guess that's a, that's a good one too. Um, $16 profit. I haven't sold one of these personally, but you know, 50, somewhere between 50 and 60 bucks are, is probably where you want to be. 55, let's try that. 55, 99 could give you 12 bucks. So I'm going to guess that you probably could make $8, $9 profit on this one right here. So this is the highest ticket item on Teespring, and that is your yoga mat. So the next pod site that I want to talk about is Spreadshirt. Now they have a ton of products as well. I really like Spreadshirt's quality and I've ordered from them before. So if we go here, this is how Spreadshirt pays out um, for their products uh, when people buy it. You can see it's a lot like Design by Humans where there's an actual price that you'll get. Everybody has the same market price uh, and you'll get uh, this. everybody gets the same royalty. So on posters, you get this much. On t-shirts, you know, you get a $5 um, royalty on some of them on some others you get three dollars so if i scroll down here the highest one that i saw is right here the ten dollar uh, royalty and that is on a loungewear set so that is this right here and that's you know top and bottom so if somebody buys a sweatshirt and the sweatpants together for 80 bucks you'll get a ten dollar profit so you can see these are selling at 79.99 they're all the same price because that's how they work um, so you're going to have to make something that people want to wear to sleep. And basically they're paying for the top. The bottom doesn't have any print at all. It's just the top and where you put it on the top. So you can see some of these right here. So that is the top uh, highest price item for Spreadshirt with a $10 profit, which is pretty good. If you can sell a bunch of these, they add up quickly. So that is Spreadshirt and that is the loungewear set. So the next print on demand site that I want to share with you is Cafe Press. Cafe Press is the first print on demand site I signed up with in 2005. They're the, one of the OGs here. You can see they have a ton of products and the product that they have that's the highest price is this King Duvet covers right here. So I'm going to show you what it is. It's $129.99. You can see it right here. And if you go here, um, that's what people pay for it. And you get about an 11% uh, commission on these. So for $129.99, you get about $14 when you sell one of these King Duvet covers. So this is the highest price ticket item on Cafe Press. Um, of course, you can sell more things on there, t-shirts and things. I haven't sold one of these duvet covers yet, but that's mostly because I do t-shirt stuff. I've sold a ton of t-shirts with Cafe Press. Uh, and they have a lot more stuff here too. So you can go here and look at all their products. But again, the highest price ticket item for Cafe Press are these King Duvet covers. So the next pod site with the highest price product is Tee Public, And I'll show you what kind of products they have. They have a ton of products. So I'll go here, you can see you can go to earnings and they're very much like some of the other ones where they all have the same price and you get the royalty based on what you sell here so you can see for shirts you mainly get uh, four dollars profit for each shirt shirt that you sell or if it's on sale two dollars uh, and then they have hoodies and tank tops hoodies you get eight dollars and tank tops you get four and so on the highest price product that they have is this right here is their prints another one uh, their canvas prints and the biggest one so the biggest ones here you can get a $21 royalty if you sell any one of those. I haven't sold one of those yet, but I'm sure people do. Here are some, you can see this is one of the bigger ones, $119 for these prints. They're nice big canvas prints that you can put on the wall and you can see they're held together like this. So if you have something that people want to put on their wall and buy it, you could get a $21 royalty for each time you sell those. So that's on Tee Public. 
um, they do really good I sell a lot of t-shirts there I haven't sold any prints but hopefully if you do you can get uh, that kind of royalty as well $21 so the next shop that I want to talk about that I sell on is threadless threadless you can open your own artist shop and I'll show you what kinds of products you can sell you can see they do mostly t-shirts and stuff but uh, they actually have a ton of products here I am on the products page you can see it goes on forever the way they do theirs is they have a price a market price and then they product class and so you kind of do the math here and what you're gonna get so uh, let me go down I'm gonna show you you can see just a ton of products and their highest price ticket item is a fine art print and the biggest size so if you go down and fine I, I think there's an aluminum one let's see yeah here mounted aluminum print 36 by 36 383 dollars and 95 cents and the cost to do that is 347.95 so the difference is about 36 dollars there so you can make 36 dollars on selling one of these so yeah if you do something really well on there i would say put it on everything if you have something that works on a t-shirt put it on all the prints you never know if you're going to get a sale and you could get a sale that makes you 36 dollars at once so one of the more popular print on demand sites is redbubble and they got a ton of products here too so the the way redbubble works is uh, there's a base price and you can do your artist margin a lot like uh, merch by Amazon does and then you have the retail price so that artist margin that markup is what you get paid so here's the pricing on their products you can see uh, they have a ton of them right stationary cases clothing accessories uh, art home decor and all of that the highest one that I found was this right here and it is the metal print and you can see the biggest metal print right here is three hundred and fifty five dollars and ninety five cents if you do a thirty percent markup on that you'll get eighty two forty four and you can see some people actually sell it at that red bubble here this is metal print extra large size uh, gloss and they're selling it at four hundred and thirty eight dollars and ten cents now the likelihood of somebody buying something this big and this nice is pretty low so you can see right here it's $82 if you're at 30% but if you did something like 20% it would go down to 50 and 10% would go down to 27 my guess is that some people will leave it lower at I think it defaults at 10% so you'll probably get $27 some might go up so I'm going to be conservative and say that you'll probably make $30 or so um, when selling these giant ones if you actually sell them but this is really cool make sure to put all your things on um, all these products you never know if you're going to get a metal print i haven't sold a giant metal print before but if i did that'd be really great another one of those og print on demand sites is zazzle zazzle was the second print on demand site that i joined after cafe press they have a ton of products in fact if you go to uh, create your own here you can see just tons of products right here the way that I found the highest ticket price item is that I clicked on this anything over a hundred dollars so you can see if I scroll down here uh, they have suitcases and what is this banners and uh, lots of art you know acrylic art or uh, duvet covers we saw those as high ticket items but one thing that they have here is a wrapped canvas you can see here another art piece six hundred and sixteen dollars and the way that zazzle works is they, they give you a five percent commission on these so something that's six hundred and sixteen dollars you'll get about a thirty dollar payout when you sell one of these so another art piece uh, these sell for a lot so if you can concentrate on these art pieces and put them on all the different pod sites if you are really good at it you could get a lot of commission each time you sell those so here it is here's the last one that you've been waiting for this is the one the highest price product that I could find on any of the 10 print on demand sites that I sell and this is society six so society six has a ton of things wall art home decor just like we talked about wall art does really well um, so does canvas prints duvet covers they got all of those plus they have one of the things that I've never seen on any other print on demand site and I'll show you what that is but first let me show you how society six works um, they have a 10 percent earn on so you can see here society six artists earn 10 percent on every sale so keep that in mind when I show you this this is a credenza 
you can see it's a furniture. They have tons of furniture stuff, benches, bar stools, uh, you name it. And you can see it's pretty cool. And it sells for $849.15. 10% of that, of course, would be $84.91. So almost $85 when you sell one of these. So think about how you could make these look good in a um, home or things like that. You can see some of these right here. These are the top sellers for credenzas. If you can think of one, this is just a plain color. So if somebody sold that, that's amazing. Um, but you can see some of these nice patterns here, which do well on duvet covers as well. So if you're going to do something on this, use that pattern on duvet covers because that's another high ticket item as well as some of these other stuff. So that's it. This is the highest one. Uh, again, try your hand at this. This may not work with t-shirt designs, but if you have patterns um, that you're already doing for some other print stuff, I would put it on here. You never know if you're going to get a sale and you may wake up one day and get a $85 commission on a sale. So that would be pretty cool. So um, those are all 10 of them right there. I kind of put it in order. Some didn't have a base price. Some just had the profit price. But you can see that credenza from Society6, number one here. Uh, I put this one, even though you don't make as much profit on the Zazzle one, it does sell for more. So I kind of did it that way. But you can see some good high ticket price items. Usually on my t-shirts, I get about $5. So all of these are above a $5 profit. Um, so make sure that you put your designs on these um, just in case you never know what's going to sell. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video was very uh, informative so that you know what are some of the high ticket price items you know t-shirts I do t-shirts a lot but t-shirts aren't the only thing you can sell on print on demand take those ideas uh, and put them on different products even though uh, some of them may require some patterns so you may want to do patterns for like the phone cases and the pop sockets and the bags and put them on bigger things like credenzas and duvet covers and and things like that so uh, have fun with these make sure to put your designs on all kinds of things you probably will sell more t-shirts than anything else like I do, but you never know when you can get some of these other stuff, uh, especially if you put them on all of the different print-on-demand sites. So uh, thanks again for watching. If this video was really helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It was really, It's really helpful in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The question of the day for this video is, have you put your designs on any of these products that I mentioned in this video? If you have, make sure to leave that in the comments right there. And if you want to see more videos about the different print on demand sites, make sure to click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.